I never unmuted my mic. That'll help. All right, let's see if you guys can hear me now. I never unmuted my mic. Okay, there you go. You guys can hear me now. All right, uh, it seems to be streaming pretty well. Okay, so I'm currently trying out a new um, streaming software called uh, Restream. And um, I'm streaming to both Twitch and to YouTube right now. Drew, hey, how are you? Yeah, so um, I'm streaming to two different platforms right now. So um, I'm ha I'm streaming through another. I'm streaming through actually technically two softwares uh, before I get to either YouTube or Twitch. So um, hopefully things are flowing well right now. Uh, but hello, Drew. Thank you for coming on out. How are you doing today? Thanks. You're the first one here for Breath of the Wild. Great. How are you? I'm good. Um, things are pretty good so far. Um, it's been a good week. Um, it's the last week before Thanksgiving break. So uh, next week I have two days before break begins, but um, yeah, just one last full week of, of school and then it's Thanksgiving break. And after that, we only have one more week of class uh, before finals begin. So doing good, just kind of on the home stretch. Hey, Hawkery. Okay, this is where things are going to get confusing. <laughs> so uh, Josh is watching over on Twitch. So I'm responding to his message. Hi, Josh. Thanks for coming on by. Um, I'm using Restream like you told me to, by the way. So uh, thank you for teaching me about that. Um, I really do appreciate it. Um, it's going to be interesting streaming to two, two different places. It's, it's kind of exciting already. Um, yeah. So I guess we'll get, we're going to get started here soon. Um, even, there's not really anybody else here, um, but, you know, that's, that's totally fine. Um, by the way, uh, Josh, Drew says hi from YouTube. <laughs> um Okay, yeah, so if you guys have any um, streaming issues, like, if, if things lag, let me know, because I'm trying out the software for the first time. Um, earlier, YouTube told me that the stream health wasn't so good, and it's never told me that before, um, so I'm thinking that it might have something to do with the restream, maybe. So just let me know if everything is going all well. Hello, it's Becca on my trash account. Hi, how are you? I haven't spoken to you in forever. <laughs> um, Ali Stare, for, I probably butchered that pronunciation, but hey, how are you? Thanks for coming on by. I miss you. I wish we talked more. Um, so, uh, Becca, I'm actually streaming to Twitch and YouTube right now. So if you hear me respond to comments that you don't see, that's what's going on. <laughs> she was like, Becca! Yeah, I know. My reaction. Exactly. Ah, uh, cool. Wow, this is exciting. Well, thanks for joining. I appreciate it. Good. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. Okay, I'm excited to stream Breath of the Wild today. It's going to be really fun. Excellent. Yeah, how have you been, by the way? How is life going? Are you still going to be studying abroad soon? The last time that we talked, you were going to be studying abroad in Germany, I thought. But I don't know what that is. So I'm definitely out of the loop on your life, Becca. Um, all right, so there's just a bunch of awkward silence right now. Or not necessarily awkward, but there's a bunch of silence right now um, because the game is not making any sound because the title screen for Breath of the Wild is just silence. Hosted you on Twitch. Oh, wow. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. That's really nice of you. Holy crap. Thank you. Hopefully that'll help. Um... Hi, Drew from YouTube, Josh says. <laughs> cool. All right, yeah. Looks like we're streaming to both platforms pretty well. This is really cool. Uh, oh, my, oh, no. It would have been this year. Oh, no. I'm sorry. That's a bummer. I'm guessing it just didn't work out with credits and stuff, or it just didn't make sense. Or not didn't make sense, but it just wouldn't work out. Very busy and very tired, yeah. Yep, that's the mood. All right, well, new game? Oh, man. I haven't started a new file, Breath of the Wild, and, well, pretty much since this game came out, so this is going to be exciting. Um, let's see, I, I guess we should go, I guess we should just start, and I shouldn't hold back anymore. Uh, once the gameplay audio gets underway, let me know if it's too loud or too quiet, but thank you guys for joining me for the beginning of this, I'm really excited. We're going to be streaming this three times a week to both YouTube and Twitch. Um, see, nah, it's okay, uh, it was just a language issue, I may still go abroad. Next year to Australia. Oh, that's really cool. Awesome. You can be there with Jade. That's really cool. Okay. Well, uh, I guess we should go ahead and get started. Oh, I hit cancel. My bad. Uh, hello, Switch? Oh, <laughs> I've been playing the PlayStation too much because of Persona. <laughs> okay. I was pressing where the X button would have been on the um, PlayStation controller, but I was hitting B. Oh, gosh. This is going to get confusing. All right. Well, let's go. Nintendo Presents The Legend of Zelda
Breath of the Wild. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. Wake up, Link. Ah, I love the look of this game. Forgot this area. I haven't been here in, yeah, since the game's launch. It's gamer time, says Drew. Indeed. We're making big gamer moves here. Honestly, I haven't played this game since launch. I haven't played it in probably six or eight months or so. Uh, probably longer than that, so I'm just really excited to get back into it myself. And um, even when I beat it, I don't really think that I played it as much as I could have. I really just kind of beat it to beat the story. I mean, I got a decent number of um, shrines knocked out, and I did some stuff and some side quests, but I feel like there's just a lot of content in this game that I did not get to, so I'm excited to do that in this playthrough. Um, I've never seen this at the beginning of this game before. Lol really? Wow, that's that's incredible. Which, by the way, um, did the gameplay audio sound good, and also, is the stream lagging or anything? Um, because YouTube is telling me that the stream health isn't good, and that makes me worried, but... Anyways... Yeah, I haven't been here forever. I wonder why we're wearing this, of all things. Um. Hello. Are you aiming to 100%? Honestly, I don't know. We're just gonna uh, see where this goes. <laughs> um. That is a Sheikah slate. Not sure at all. Take it. It will help guide you after your long slumber. That's not a Sheikah slate. That's my switch case. My switch carrying case. Cool. Audio's good. Awesome. Great. Thank you guys. I appreciate it. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I'd love to do 100%, but... Um, definitely probably, if I didn't do 100%, it would not count the Korok seeds, because I think there's literally like a thousand of those? This is cool, they should make a sequel. Right? Yeah, I don't know. That'd be a good idea, but I just don't know if they would do it. Uh, treasure chest? Oh yeah, I can open these things. Old shirt, great, we're already getting clothing. Okay. And now we have pants. Is there anything else that I can do in here? I can pick this up. I can throw it. I don't think I can break that big crate over there though. Oh, nope. Did not mean to do that. I don't think I can throw this, can I? I mean, I can throw, but I was trying to break that big crate. Oh wait, I can push it. Okay, cool. They give you a lot of little objects in here to interact with before you Step out into the real world. Well, I guess let's put on some clothes really quick. We don't want to make our big debut naked. Or partially, at least. Hold the Sheikah Slate up to the pedestal. That will show you the way. Alright. Sheikah Slate is a lot fatter than I remembered it being. I don't know, I guess I just think like the Sheikah Slate should be the size of the Switch. And that would be a chunky switch. Oh, I'm so excited. I remember, I remember my first time going out of these doors and stepping out into the world. It's just one of those moments in video games that you just sticks with you forever. For forever.
Just occasionally skippy, skippy, says Josh. Okay. The light. Our light. That's not good. That must shine upon high rule once again. Hopefully. Now go. That will not do that anymore. Cool. Is this Persona 3? <laughs> Persona 3 looks cool, looks prettier than I remember. Yeah, no kidding. Um, oh yeah, all the blue kind of... Yeah, actually. Um, it's very slight. Haha, do you even know the way? Switch light? More like switch heavy. Yeah, pretty much. Switch chunky. Airhead. Hey, oh boy, Breath of the Wild. This is going to be a journey. How are you? Thank you for joining. I haven't spoken to you since um, the last stream, actually. Hope you've been well. Okay. Aw, oh, man, here we go. This is so exciting. It's getting better, uh, says Josh. Good, good, good. I'm uh, doing great, playing some Pokemon Shield. Uh, what a way to start the game. The, this view still gets me, yeah. Man, just look at it. Ah, oh, man. This is, this is such a good game to like escape into, you know? I find that some of my favorite games are like that, like uh, Wind Waker, for example. Tree Branch, cool. Uh, yeah, I guess that is kind of a weapon. Cool, we can swipe it around. Um, I guess we'll collect some mushrooms and things now. Can I break this to get more tree? No. Okay. Got mushrooms right up here. It's gonna be really weird starting off from like the very beginning and then you know, having to build up my stamina and my hearts and everything again. I don't know. Kind of not looking forward to that aspect, but it is nice to start this game with a clean slate. We got another stick. Cool. Okay, that's right. A lot of these shortcuts I kind of forgot about because I started playing this game and then I dropped it for a little while and then I picked it back up and I forgot how to do all these basic things that the game teaches you at the beginning. Hello? Oh, I thought that was a Korok. <laughs> it was a squirrel, my bad. Um, okay, no, let's not climb the tree. I thought I saw a sparkly right over here. Another tree branch, wow. We got, we're, we're avid collectors of tree branches. More shrooms, great. Tree branches and shrooms are really, really building up wealth in this world. Did that squirrel just disappear into the side of the mountain? Wait. Okay, I was, it was offering me to climb. Bro, this game has branches! I know, thoughts on Pokemon, sword, and shield controversies. Um, I have not played the game, so I can't make a statement on that. Um, I do feel like people were being a bit too nit nitpicky. And I do intend on getting the game myself. But I just don't have the money to right now, so... It'll be a it'll be a, it'll be a little while, unfortunately, but hopefully someday. I'm thinking by Christmas because that's when Christmas money from relatives will come in, and yeah. Ooh, big rock. I can push this. Oh, wait, I want to push it down this way. Is there, is there like an animal down there that I can kill and get meat from? Uh oh. Head for the point marked okay. on the map. Okay. Thought I was getting in trouble for pushing the rock. Gotcha. We'll look at the map in a moment. I want to push this rock first. Follow the Sheikah Slate. This is fun to watch. <laughs> okay. Well. Let's head on down, I guess. Ah, uh, I can't fly yet. Oh, and I broke my tree branch almost. Aw, oh, man. On nothing. It's a shame. Oh, we have apples now. Let's get some apples. See, can I jump right here? Jump with X. Okay, cool. Okay, I gotta climb a little bit. Alright. Just gonna be on tw uh, Twitch now to fluff the view count here. Plus, I like Twitch more. Alright. Which, by the way, uh, for those of you on YouTube, I'm also streaming to Twitch right now. So, if I reply to messages you don't see, that's why. Um, so, yeah. But, 
Anyways, Airhead, you said you were playing... Um, ooh, did I roast an apple? I think he did. Baked apple, excuse me. Um, how is Sword and Shield so far? What do you, what, like, how do you feel about it? I beg your pardon! I do believe that that is my baked apple. You can't just go about taking whatever you please. Oh, forgive me. I cannot resist pulling your leg. Please help yourself. An apple and an open flame make for a succulent treat. That is a bit strange to see another soul in these parts. Me? I'll spare you my life story. I'm just an old fool who has lived here alone for quite some time now. What brings a bright-eyed young man like you to a place like this? Bye. No, where are we? Yep. The Great Plateau. According to legend, this is the birthplace of the entire kingdom of Hyrule. That temple there. Long ago, it was a site of many sacred ceremonies. Ever since the decline of the kingdom a hundred years ago, it has sat abandoned in a state of decay. Yet another forgotten entity. A mere ghost of its former self. Okay. Well, I guess we're gonna bake some apples now. I'm new. A game fan 123. Hey, how are you? Sorry, I just saw your message. Thanks for coming on by. This is my first time streaming to Twitch and probably five or six years or so. But yeah, hello, how are you, how are you doing today? Um, I make Let's Plays on YouTube and I'm trying to, I've been streaming on YouTube for a while and I'm trying to branch out on Twitch as well, so I'm currently streaming on both YouTube and Twitch right now. So, hi, it's nice to meet you. Um, I've been loving Shield, says Airhead. Um, I've already beat it and really enjoyed all the new Pokemon. Cool, the wild, re uh, the wild area, the characteristics and battle mechanics. Dynamax is, implement is implemented in such a hype way. Cool. I thought it was just like really big Pokemon. And that's really all there was to it. Um, I'm excited to play it. Um, I, I'm gonna have to wait till Christmas so I get money though. Cook myself another baked apple. Oh man, I'm so sorry. Okay, well yeah. Uh, let's bake some apples actually. Do I? Yeah, you're, you're right. I do have places to be, but let's see. Let's go over here. Oh wait, I think I can bake shrooms as well. Let's hold, 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 and place them right here. All right. Ooh, toasty Hylian Shroom. Do you guys like mushrooms? I love mushrooms. I play the same game. Okay, nice. Yeah, I, um, I've been Breath of the Wild before. This, is, this isn't my first time playing it, but um, it is my first time playing it in like six or eight months or so, and I've not 100%ed it. So I'm just kind of here to play it, and not sh I'm not going for 100% per se, but just like an experience the game again. Oh, we can start a new fire down here, I think. Oh, there's also a weapon right here. Woodcutter's Axe. Cool. Wow, this is going to be a really uneventful first stream. We're just going to be like, you know, frying, or not frying, but baking mushrooms and apples and cutting down trees. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um, I think an hour-long stream probably is not enough for this game, if I'm going to be honest. But I don't really, I guess, have that much time to stream more than an hour, I don't think. Okay. Well, we started a new fire. Oh, I was burning to death. That's not cool. All right, well, let's uh, let's get out our axe, and I guess I could cut down a tree because yeah, I can get wood from it if I do that. Ooh, and apples, and apples, and apples. Um, do I hit it again? Okay, yeah, that's what you do. Wood, nice. We can start fires now, sort of, kinda. Uh, do you have DLC? No, I don't have the DLC. I want to ride around on the motorcycle so badly. Um, I've never had mushrooms. You've never had mushrooms, Josh? How have you never had mushrooms? I have the DLC. Ah. Uh, Nice, I'm jealous. Mushrooms are the worst. Really? I don't know. I, I've, I've never met anybody with, like, I guess, um, torch. Okay, cool, that'll be useful. Um, I've never met someone with throw weapon. Okay. Uh, as a weapon, to set things on fire. I mean, what else do you... Oh, <laughs> I guess you uh, don't necessarily need to start fires with torches. Unnerving. Uh, okay. Cool. I like the way that this game teaches you combat and just general controls. It, it's it's a little bit at a time as it's relevant. Lumberjack Simulator. Wait, wait, what? The new Cookie Mama looks amazing. Uh, funny. 
Which, do they still make those games, by the way? You're not going for 900 Korok seeds? <laughs> Shaking my head. No, I am not, sir. Um, gosh, I cannot, I mean, I don't even, what do you even get from getting all 900 Korok seeds? Is it really even worth your time? Just never had them. How have you never had mushrooms, though? Like, not on a pizza, not in a soup, not in a something that was baked, nothing? I don't know, you should definitely try mushrooms sometimes. I'm, I'm a big fan. Um, okay, well I guess we're gonna head over here. Becca, live a little. I have a very strong opinion against mushrooms, watermelon, and avocado. You don't like avocado or watermelon. Really? Okay, Drew agrees, mushrooms are really good. Gotcha, Temple of Time. Okay, yeah, that's right, that is what this thing's called. Okay. Well. Let's go around here, I guess. Thought I was gonna find some herbs or something for me to grab, but I guess not. Um, can I climb this right here? Okay, this is more... I, 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 this isn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. I thought our stamina was gonna go a lot quicker than this. This isn't bad. Definitely not bad. Fun guy just doesn't sound appealing to order. Lol. Gosh, sorry I left. No, don't be. No worries. Um, I despise them. You get a golden poop for all the seeds. It's completely useless. Really? Mushroom pizza is peak food. Agreed. Uh-oh. First enemy. And hello. Hello. And ooh, and steal your weapon. Nice. Wow. Our weapons are like super weak. Cool. I really love the combat in this game so much. Goblin Fang. Definitely the best of any Zelda game. Yeah, guess there's more to it than just slashing your sword. Which isn't necessarily the case for all Zelda games. I mean, like, for boss fights, it's not the case. But in general, that is, that's always been the way Zelda works. It's just slashing your sword. Okay. I don't want to, like, damage my weapon, but... I don't want to, like, pick up and throw all these pots individually. Glad that pottery is still the enemy. That has not changed. Ooh! Arrows! I mean, I can't shoot them yet, but hey, it's good to have them. There's a chest over here. I don't think I saw this my first time playing this game. Traveler's Bow. There you go. Uh, can because you're a Persona 5 LP, I finally started a Persona game. Really? Awesome, I'm really glad to hear that. Uh, what game did you start playing? I'm hoping it's 4 or 5. Becca, don't get mad at me, but I don't think I could recommend 3 to anybody. I just do not like Persona 3. Oh no! Okay, cool, I can pick up, back up my arrow. Uh, I think I can pray here, yeah. What happens if I pray? I don't think there's anything I can do right now. Oh, great. Well, I'm glad she smiles upon me. <laughs> um, now, if I remember correctly, we gotta climb to the top of this thing, right? Okay, I thought it was a shiny over there, but that's just light being weird. Nope, did not mean to do that. Let me walk out of here. As of, t as of today, I'm 10 hours into Persona 3 FES. Okay, really? Okay. Um... I hope you enjoy it more than I did. <laughs> um, LMAO, it's okay. Um, I do really enjoy the combat of this game. Uh, the slow-mo feels super good. Oh yeah, I love the slow motion. Especially like when you're in the air and you're using your bow. That's, that's the best. Um, how do I get around here? How am I going to climb up to the top? I'm pretty sure that's what I gotta do. I remember climbing up here, wait. Well, first of all, let's just see what objective we have. I was supposed to check my Sheikah Slate a while ago. Okay, I'm supposed to go over there, is that right? I think I'm supposed to go over there. I don't know, I felt like there was something that we were supposed to do here, though. I guess not. Oh well. Um, let's see, I'm waiting for Becca's comment to, about me not liking Persona 3. Uh, so, uh, okay, Josh says Persona 5, Persona 4, the others, and then Persona 3. <laughs> you haven't even played the others. Um, but yeah, I, I share your feelings about Persona 3 though. Um, my ex was pissed at me for making him play 3. Really? Oof, oof is right. Yeah, I, I'm not big into 3. Um, oh, and then Persona Q, Josh says. I, I kind of, I haven't beaten it yet, but I, I do like Persona Q. I have mixed feelings about it. I mean, of course, I don't like it as much as the regular Persona games, but it wasn't bad. It hasn't been bad so far. Okay, ooh, we got some more enemies down here. Exciting. 
Uh, we're slowly but surely getting into the combat of this game. Let's see. And I know I play too much Persona because I, I, I want to like hide around, around that corner and sneak up on him. And, oh cool, we still got a weapon. Didn't break. And there's another treasure chest over here. Hello? Hylian Trousers. Okay, so that's um better than what we currently have. Let's go on over to clothing. Is there another thing over here for me to get? Another treasure chest? Feels like it'd be really um, easy to miss, to miss treasure chests at this point in the game because we don't have Magnesis yet. We can't um, look for the red glow that would appear on metal. Okay, I'm going to come down here and kill you. There you go. Awesome. I love that it deals extra damage. Let's pick back up your weapon and kill you with it. Okay, now let's see. Is there a treasure chest over here? I love to find the other piece to the Hylian Trousers that we just got. No, that's just a barrel. Okay. Gotcha. I guess we'll keep on heading off into the direction where Sheikah Slate so we will actually get something uh, noteworthy done today. Um, let's see. Is Persona 3 that... Oh, wow. The chat's moving too fast for me to keep up with it. Let me go back up. Or just Let me stretch this out. You guys have no idea what I'm talking about because you can't see my monitor, but making it where I can see more of the chat. Um... Is Persona 3 different from 4 or 5? Anyone play Persona 1 or 2? Um, no one here has, I don't think, played Persona 1 or 2. Actually, Becca might have. M Becca might have. Becca might have had played it. There you go. That's that's grammar. Um, I haven't played any of the ones except for 3, 4, and 5. Um, 3 is very hard, and it's very, very dark. Yeah, I guess Persona 3 is harder, but... I mean, I don't mind the difficulty. I just didn't enjoy the cast or the story as much. I just hated Tartarus above all. Tartarus was the worst. I just love how creatively you can kill enemies in this game. Uh, oh wow, we're already maxed out on how many items we can hold. It's kind of—it's surprising to me that we were, um, as, at least as far as I know, um, you can never upgrade your um, how much you can hold in this game. You can't increase the amount of weapons you can hold. That's always surprised me. Wow, there's a lot of Pokoblins around here. Let's see, ooh, and there's um, I think like a Pokoblin base over there. Okay, so they're up on that hill. I'm not gonna sneak, be able to sneak up on them pretty, sneak up on them easily. That's what I'm trying to say. I love the game, just like nonchalantly saving in the bottom left corner, knowing that I'm about to die. <laughs> ooh, this is like a dried lake bed, I think, or is that, or, or there's bricks? I can't tell. And hello. And goodbye. Yep. Oh, don't shoot me. Don't shoot me. Not a cl close range. I would like to get some more arrows, though. That would be cool. Oh, we got a goblin bow. Okay, so the one that we have is uh, better than that. Um, I should have paid attention to how we're supposed to switch bows, but I'll figure it out later. Um, any other arrows around here? What is this? Oh, yeah. More arrows. Cool. All right. And the base is right over here. Okay. That's right. Crouching increases your stealth, making it easier to sneak. Yeah, I love how it teaches you things. I, I Like, Breath of the Wild is so good about that. Okay. No, I... Oh, actually, you know what? Why not? Cool. Uh, two times the amount of damage regularly. Okay, I didn't know... I, I mean, I knew it dealt more damage, but I didn't know exactly by how much. Okay. Cool, we got a shield now. Ooh, and a, metal and a metallic... And a metal sword. Very common sword, often carried by travelers. Nice. Oh, we can't hold it. Well, we will fix that. Let's see, is this how you throw things? Okay, yeah. Nice. Uh, Persona Q, aka, may make your own uh, fucking game simulator. <laughs> the devs were too lazy. I mean, I don't know. It was it, that's just the style of Etrian Odyssey. Okay, this is where we were supposed to go, in which Etrian Odyssey, uh, their team and Persona collaborated to make Persona Q. Um, Persona, Q, Persona Q is cute, but god, the final dungeon is aggravating, and it's the sole reason I'm not done with it. Really? I'm on floor 36 of Tartarus. Have fun. You are nowhere near the end. I mean, obviously, you're only 10 hours of the game, but yeah. Enjoy Tartarus. Uh, but back to the game at hand. It is like a soft remake of the original NES Legend of Zelda. Yeah, in a way. It's true. You can increase the number of weapons you can hold. You can? 
Hello, Unstoppable! Hey, how are you? Thanks for coming on by! Um, No, I want to play them, but I'm a broke bitch. Says Becca. It, it flagged your comment. I just approved it. Sorry, it took me a little while. Um, Where does this game take place in the timeline? At the very end, actually. So, I believe the way it's explained is I can't remember what's last in the timeline other than Breath of the Wild, but before that, um, like thousands of years pass, and then Breath of the Wild happens. So all the timelines that were, that existed previously converge into a single timeline once again, because so much time has passed that um, whatever differences there might have been, the different timelines all come together once again, just because like a ton of time passes, if that makes any sense. So all the timelines converge into one again. So, Breath of the Wild is the newest of the timeline. Please watch for falling rocks. Uh, that's kind of unsettling. Uh oh. Okay, Persona Q is super emotional in the end game, so I forgive it. Plus, it gave, it gave me Ray. I do like Ray a lot. Korok seeds are used for inventory expansion. Oh, really? No. Are you lying to me? I thought Korok seeds were useless. Did they actually expand your inventory? You should have a link in your Twitch in the description of the YouTube stream. Yeah, I should, Josh. You're right. Um, I literally thought it was like for SS. Alameo. Uh, just so people know that know it exists. Which Persona would you would you say is the most fun? Persona 4 is my favorite. Um, I'm really enjoying Persona 5 so far. Um, I think the gameplay for Persona 5 is just better. I mean, just objectively, it's better. Um, but my favorite thing about Persona is not the gameplay in it, per se. Or not usually. Um, it's the story. And I really like the story for Persona 4. So, I don't know. It's going to be a little while before I can say whether like 4 or 5 better. But 4 is my favorite game of all time. So, 5 has an uphill battle to uh, get that spot. Yeah, Josh, you're right. I think after this live stream, I'm gonna go um, on my Twitch and put in the YouTube stream link so people know it exists and they know who I'm talking to. Um, Persona 5 is so fun, Drew. Um, yes, they actually do. You only need around 440 for all inventory slots. So, okay, really? I might actually try to collect more Korok seeds then. Um, I have zero idea if that's sarcasm, Becca. <laughs> oh, I thought you said three. I'm serious, I've literally played it like four times. Regional map extracted. Awesome. It feels like we've been playing for forever, but we've only been streaming for 30 minutes. Hello chat, Soul. Hey, how are you? Thanks for coming on by. Wow, we have Becca here, we got Solo here, we got Drew. Twitter fam is here. You have been asleep for the past 100 years. <laughs> the beast. When the beast regains its true power, this world will face its end. Now then, you must hurry, Link. Before it's too late. Cool. Breath of the Wild has really cool cutscenes. I wish they had more of them. I'm really hoping that Breath like the sequel to Breath of the Wild is like Breath of the Wild, just with more story. Um, because that's definitely the compartment I feel like this game really lacks in. But I mean, of course, it was never meant to be a story-driven game. It was meant to just be, you know, explore this world, that kind of thing. Um, so, I've saved. Um... So I gotta climb down this thing now. I really just want the paraglider now. I, mean, I just really want to hop off this ledge and fly through the sky. Ah! Okay, <laughs> not that soon though. Okay, yeah, that's right. I can just hop down here and I'll be fine. We. <laughs> um. Yeah, I need to find that old man and get the paraglider from him. Um. Did the game tell me what to do next? I can't remember. All right. Well, we're back on the ground. Let's go. Oh, yep, here you go. 
My, my, it would seem that we have quite the enigma here. This tower and others just like it have erupted across the land, one after another. It is almost as though a long dormant power has awoken quite suddenly. If you do not mind me asking, did anything odd occur while you were atop that tower? Well now, a voice you say! And did you happen to recognize this mysterious voice? I see. Well, that is unfortunate. I assume you caught sight of that atrocity shrouding the castle. Enshrouding? I can't read. That is Calamity Ganon. 100 years ago, the vile entity brought the Kingdom of Hyrule to ruin. It appeared suddenly and destroyed everything in its path. So many innocent lives were lost in its wake. For a century, the very symbol of our kingdom, Hyrule Castle, has managed to contain that evil, but just barely. There it festers, building its strength for the moment it will unleash its blight upon the land once again. It would appear that moment is fast approaching. I must ask you, courageous one, do you intend to make your way to the castle? I had a feeling you would say that. Here, on this isolated plateau, we are surrounded on all sides by steep cliffs, with no way down. If you were to try to jump off, well, no death could be more certain, or more foolish. Of course, if you had a paraglider, like mine, that would be quite another story. Hand it over! Oh ho, certainly, why not? But there is no such thing as a free item in this world, you know. Let's see now. How about I trade it for a bit of treasure that slumbers nearby? Cool. Come, let me show you something. Oh, and now you're gonna walk at two miles an hour, we gotta walk next to you. <laughs> That's okay, because I think you're just going to the top of this hill to, to show us. This thing over here, probably. Yep. Oh, wait. Actually, nope, did not mean to do that. Uh, never mind. I can take this one, sleep this, and let's sleep this now. I don't need any of these. Okay. No! <laughs> I did not mean to do this. Oh, gosh. I can't control this game. Okay. Do you see that structure there? The one shining with the strange light. It began glowing at the exact moment those towers rose up from the ground. I would think such a place might house some sort of treasure, wouldn't you? Treasure for the paraglider. A fair exchange, I believe. Okay, cool. We got a first thing to do. Uh, make me a mod, oh, says Josh. Well, I did. Um, also, hello, Persona 5 is my favorite. Persona 3 is a close second. Um, I wish I could sleep for, uh, for 100 years. Yeah, right. Good lord, you saying Twitter fam just brought back so many memories. Haha, <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Oh, thanks for liking my Twitch. I appreciate it. You must hurry. Time to do a bunch of side quests. Uh, as the old man, Kapora Kapora. Honestly, I would. I wish he would have made an appearance in this game. Um, unpopular opinion there. Um, or the equivalent, pretty much. At least at this point of the game. I love that you can make Link seem like a total jerk. <laughs> yeah, right. Huh, Skyrim looks a bit cartoony, doesn't it? <laughs> hey, Knight, how are you doing? Thanks for coming on by. Hey, Grant! Wow, everyone's like joining all of a sudden. Um, thanks for coming on by, guys. I, I hope you guys are doing well today. Wait, did you make me a mod too? I did. You've been here for quite some time, so I feel like um, you should definitely be a mod, and I'll probably make other people mod, other people mods as well. Um, in fact, let me just make a few people who are commonly here, just making people who are normally here mods. Um, so here's the thing, um, and I meant to talk about this a while ago. Um, I'm afraid that people are going to randomly pop in my live streams and spoil Persona 5 for me because I'm doing a blind let's play of it. So I want to make some of you guys mods so you can protect me. Uh, from uh, spoilers. <laughs> Please don't fail me. Um, okay, yeah. And let's see. Um, I pretty much trust all of you guys to be moderators, but I'm just going to make a few for now. Uh, let's see who else is here normally. Unstoppable, I'm going to make you a mod as well. That's okay. Can I? YouTube, will you let me make you? I don't think it's going like, to let me make you a mod. Is there a limit how many mods you can make? I don't know. 
Okay, all right, well, I'll, I'll figure this out later. We have game to play. Well, I guess we'll go check that out. We'll uh, go beat up these guys over here first. I think um, my strategy is gonna be to shoot them with the bow. Let's just go ahead and get you knocked off. I'm surprised you don't spot me yet. Oh, oh, uh-oh, I forgot. Uh, arcs, arcs, no. Ah, oh, shoot, I'm wasting so many arrows. Please. Okay, I'm overshooting. Okay, we're just kind of like exchanging arrows here. Thank you. Okay, cool. Now oh, hello. <laughs> I did not see you there. <laughs> okay. Uh, that kind of scared me, honestly. All right. Cool. So we got things. Um, arrows. Did he give me any more arrows? Okay. Let's go over here. Oh man. You guys have really good eyesight. Okay. Stop crouching. All right. Hello. Yep, 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 yep. Cool. More shields. We can use more shields. Okay, now we have multiple shields we can switch between. Nice. Um. Oh, we got arrows right here. Hello, I'll take some of those, please. Where are all the ones that I shot? That I shot into the dirt. Um. Over here. Okay, we'll get the bow and the arrows. Okay, we're definitely making up for all the arrows that we lost. Oh, wow, well, I have a ton of them just sitting over here. Yep. Okay. Oh, and you're shooting them at me, too. Hello. Uh, what am I doing? Did not mean to do that. Oh, cool, we can finally start cooking because there's a pot. Nice. I love the sound effects so much. I love the music of this game. There was a meme that was going around for a little while, and it was like, Breath how to make Breath of the Wild music, and it was just this guy like slamming his fingers down on a piano. It's pretty accurate. And what are we gonna get here? Traveler sword, okay, cool, so I have two of those now. Ah, inventory's full. Um, let's get rid of a tree branch. I guess I don't really need that. Goodbye. And uh, let's cook some things really quick. Let's cook some apples and some mushrooms. Okay, wait, can I not cook yet? Oh no, I can cook, I'm being dumb. I gotta like just not set pins in random places. Yeah, I, I've, I'm too used to the layout of the um, PlayStation controller right now. It's from playing so much Persona 5 that I am pressing buttons that I don't intend to. And let's cook. Ooh, that's a lot. That is a lot at this point of the game. Do you guys know how many recipes exist in this game? Like how many different combinations of... Uh, the whole thing. Oh, not how many different combinations, but how many different things you can cook. I would be interested to know. Uh, fruit and mushroom mix. Cool. I guess we'll do that one more time. Might as well, because, like, th this is a lot of... These are a lot of hearts. Let's see. I am so honored, <laughs> says Drew. Um, oh, thanks, I'm honored. I'll do my best. Thank you, appreciate it. Must protect. Yeah, protect me from the spoilers, please. Uh, you guys best help this guy out. Activate spoiler shield. Doesn't work. Oh, man. Oh, that's okay. Um, that was a flame shield. Uh, watching Link not be OP is weird. Yeah, true. Um, there's so much going on in this game. Yeah. Ah, if I love mushrooms. Dude, playing Persona 5 made it impossible for me to play my 3DS for a little while. Really? Oh, wait. Did I get less stuff right there? Check meals and ingredients by selecting it from your inventory. Okay, cool. Gotcha, we'll do. Uh, need to return to this game and finish the DLC as I originally intended to check out. Yeah, I feel you on that. I would like to buy the DLC, first of all. Um, uh, let's see, is there anything else to do over here? Nope. Let's head on into there and get the paraglider. I feel like that would be good progress for today. Oh, and why uh, wild. Water, brought to you by Breath of the Wild. Um, I'm not gonna try to swim across there yet. We're just gonna not drown and we're gonna run across instead. Wait, yeah, swimming does take up stamina, right? I'm pretty sure it does. Wait, is, oh, there's a fish in there. I wonder, uh, I wonder if I could try to shoot it. No, I don't see it right now. I just put an arrow in the water. Oh, I see it now. Hello. Did I get it? Hey, I got it. Okay, cool. Hyrule Bass. Nice. Okay, yeah, it does take a little bit. That's okay. Actually, yeah, I think we'll be able to make it across. 
And we'll cook that. Probably the next stream. Yeah, I might have to make these streams longer than an hour. I don't know. Breath of the Wild just requires more time, I feel like. Oh, wait. My arrow's over here. Can I get it back? I was just floating. Okay, I thought it was, like, stuck in the side of the wall over there. Uh-oh. Uh... I uh, hope I don't drown. Um, I might actually drown. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Haha! -ha! <laughs> just barely. Cool. Okay. Um, I also like that, um, there's, like, an actual time. It's, like, it shows, like, in the bottom right corner. You know, I like that. I like that, you know, there's, like, a real time that it is right now. That there's actual temperature as well. I don't know, it just makes it feel a lot more realistic. Okay, let's go take on this shrine challenge. I don't even, I don't even remember what this one is. Oman Ao Shrine. Cool. Well, let's go. Uh, old school bow and arrow fishing classic. Fishy. I beat this game back in 2017, the month that it came out. I was close to finishing everything pre-DLC, my second playthrough. Um, this year before getting it. Unfortunately, time was not on my side. Yeah. Time, the natural enemy of being up to date on games. So, any of y'all remember the fishy McBits McDonald's ad? Because that ad was hilarious. No, I did not know what ad you're talking about. Also, impressive making it across. Yeah, I didn't think I was going to. Uh, meanwhile, me never has played this game for themselves. You should totally play this game. I just... Just playing this hour has been great. It's such an immersive experience. I mean, if you've had a bad day, this is the perfect game to sit down and like let yourself be absorbed into. It's so good for that. One thing that is annoying, though, is the loading screens. I mean, understandably so, but like... I mean, understandable that they take so long, but... Um, I'm definitely hoping that whenever, like, I guess, like, the improved Switch comes out, that it improves upon that for, Breath of the, for the sequel of this game. Um, yeah, because I just have not enjoyed that. Oh, wait, guys, look at the look in the top left corner. Did you, if you, <laughs> I don't know if you guys saw that, but, uh, Grand Spectre, who is in the chat, Grant, that was, um, <laughs> that was him playing Breath of the Wild in the top left. <laughs> that's so cool. I, I'm, I'm seeing that you're playing it now. That's, that's hilarious. And everyone else is saying that you're playing Breath of the Wild now, too. Ha! Huh, I wonder where you got the idea, Grant. Um, I played this game for like half an hour when it came out, never played it again. Really? You should- ah, uh, you should pick it back up. This game is so good. Are there any games worth buying a Switch for? Um, I don't know if that's a serious question. Oman Ao is an anagram of Aonuma. Really? Oh, that's so cool. Oh, I see it, yeah. One of the Zelda designers, nice. I decay for Switch for Switch exclusive exclusively, but please everyone play I the Summonum so, some I, that's a word I can't say. Uh, flies. Fire Emblem has been enough time has been enough of a time taker. <laughs> okay, yeah, it's understandable. Cool, we got Magnesis. Exciting. Okay, cool. And now we can just fling a bunch of metal around. Um, I love seeing videos of people do, like, crazy things with, uh, the Sheikah Slate powers, you know? Like, um, they'll use, they'll use, um, I forget what it's called, um, stasis? Yeah. And then they'll hit an object a bunch of times, and they'll crouch on it and go, like, flying across Hyrule. Like, like, that's really cool. I saw somebody, um, they got on a piece of metal, they hit it a bunch of times, crouched on it, and, like, flung their way to the very top of Hyrule Castle. I mean, that was bizarre. I would love to do something like that. Um, let's see, I didn't care anything about it, but, um, but people have been talking about that game. I need everyone to play Love Mizuki as much as I do. Wii U Breath of the Wild is cheaper. Is it really? Uh, one guy did this pauseless. Really? Pauseless, like, you just didn't pause this game? I'm guessing that's, well, that's all that that means? Can I climb up onto this? Okay, cool. For some reason I thought that I couldn't. Um, yeah, I think you can, uh beat this game within a few hours. It's really difficult, but it's doable. Um, by pauseless, you mean, wait, do you mean without, like, selecting anything in the inventory or anything like that? Cam, I know you're on the fence about doing another LP after Epic Yarn. Besides streaming, uh, what would you do without your channel if you stopped doing traditional LPs? Um, I was thinking about just streaming and quitting Let's Playing for a while, but um, I've decided not to do that. 
Um, yeah, I don't know what I would do with, with do with with myself if I did not have YouTube. So, yeah, um, not entirely sure. That's a good question. Not sure why I went up there. I don't think there's anything else to see up here. Okay, I'm sorry I didn't get used to the controls of this again. I really want to get a pro controller really, really badly. I just don't have the money for it. I might get one with Christmas money whenever that comes through. I plan on getting everything with, with my Christmas money right now. Okay, what can I do with this? Okay, I think I pushed this through. No, I'm being dumb. Hold up. Okay, put that down. Okay, there we go. Now we take this out. Cool. Yeah, these puzzles get really complicated later. Oh wait, can I not climb it? Okay, yeah, I, I can. Okay, cool. And hello. Oh gosh. Okay, come here, come here, come here, come here. I forget what these things are called, but like the full size ones are terrifying. Ancient spring, ancient screw. One of the scariest things about this game. Um. Okay, cool. Pretty basic. Um, I really do love all the pu all the pu puzzle solving um, that exists in in uh, these um in these shrines. Um, I think it was a really creative way to, I guess, like not make the Zelda franchise dungeon driven, but to still like have the um all the puzzles that everyone loves from the dungeons still put in here. I feel like some. Of the, I I honestly feel like the puzzles that are in the in a lot of these shrines are a lot like, better than those in uh, just regular Zelda dungeons, if I'm gonna be honest. I feel like they get a lot more creative with the puzzles in these shrines and in this game than anywhere else um, previously in this franchise. Uh, BRB, getting an HDMI capture card so I can stream AI! <laughs> gotcha. Um, yes, I admittedly have Breath of the Wild on Switch and Wii U, no shame. Um, question. Grant, um, is the loading time on the Wii U any better than it is on the Switch? Because if so, that's that's kind of funny and ironic, and also makes me want to get this game for the for the Wii U. Um, oh, you still don't have a Pro controller? I don't. Understandable though. Pro controllers are really expensive. Yeah, they have a lot of um, third-party uh, Pro controllers out there now that um, at least on Amazon have really good reviews, and they're like 20, 30 bucks. I've been thinking about getting one of those. This cutscene is really long if you don't skip through it. But it's the first time we're seeing it, so I guess that's why I'm letting it play itself out. It's gonna be interesting to see what mechanics they keep in the sequel to this game and which ones they they scrap. Um I really hope they keep the shrines. I'm really I really, really enjoy the shrines. It's just going to be interesting in general to see how different it is from Breath of the Wild. I'm really excited for it. Did they say if it's coming out in 2020 or 2021? Or like, when is that game coming out? Does anybody know? Speedrunners prefer Wii U. Really? I wouldn't be able to say at this time, but I've heard the Switch version is technically better. Oh wait, never mind. They, use, um, they used to use the Wii U more. Now, just the Switch Orgy on the leaderboards. Oh, okay. Hello. It seems you managed to get your hands on a spirit orb. Well done. How did you know? Clairvoyance! Oh, or perhaps just something similar. As one gets older, it becomes more difficult to see what is right before one's own eyes. However, that which one was once hidden from view can often be crystal clear. But perhaps that is not true for everyone. Oh, ho. The appearance of those towers and the awakening of the, of, its, of the shrine. It is all connected to that Sheikah slate you carry on your hip there. <laughs> you can just keep on asking for the paraglider, that's funny. <laughs> it has been quite some time since I have seen that Sheikah slate. Uh, long ago, a highly advanced tribe known as the Sheikah inhabited these lands. The great power of their wisdom saved this kingdom time and time again. But their ancient technology disappeared long ago, or so it said, or so it is said. It is interesting, however, to think that something like that survived all this time hidden away in a shrine. These shrines are tucked away in numerous places all across this land. On this plateau alone, I believe there are still three more. Bring me the treasures in each of those shrines and I will give you my paraglider. Yeah, that was not the deal! 
Oh, well, I suppose I changed my mind. I'm sure that won't be a problem for a young go-getter like you. Since I'm feeling generous, gen generous, generous, I will also teach you a trick for finding shrines. It is always best to survey the area by looking around from a high point. Let's see here. How about you make your way to the top of that tower again? Are you joking? Oh, ho I'm afraid not, but do not worry. I have another little trick to share with you for your effort. Take a look at the map on your Sheikah Slate. See those blue icons? You should recognize the cave from where you woke, the shrine you came from, and the tower. You can travel instantly to any of those places with the Sheikah Slate. Or so I heard some quite some time ago. I do not know if it actually works as such. Oh uh, yeah, you do seem to know a lot for a random old man, but we'll figure that out later. Uh, but to be fair, Breath of the Wild did get an update. Either last year, I think, I forget, but one update managed to speed up the load times. I don't know if I actually received that update or not. I'm about to check after the stream. Okay, speaking of load times, three houses take so long, and it's a big oof. How long are you streaming tonight? Uh, I was originally planning until 10 o'clock, which is in two minutes. And I think I'm going to have to end the stream, actually. Uh, I really don't want to. Um, let's at least get to the top of here. Okay. I cannot control this game for the life of me. Let's get up here. And we're gonna map out the shrines we're gonna go to next time. Yeah, I hate that we did not get the paraglider. It feels like we're, we just scratched the surface at the beginning. I was wanting to get the paraglider. I, might, I, I totally forgot that he changed the deal on you after the first one. Um, but yeah, so we won't be getting... Okay, how did you get up here? I did not remember this either. That is absurd. I'm surprised it took you so long to catch up with an old man like me. Yeah, how did you? Leave an old man to secrets. Now then. Okay. Oh, so you're gonna let us zoom on in. Yep. Yeah, how do you know? Experience, wisdom, instinct? Instinct. Uh, call out what you will and believe, and if you so please, go ahead and take a look. Okay. Alright. Sure, we'll do. Um, it's actually a lot easier to spot these things at night. So, I'm... Wait. Ugh, gosh. I wish you could more easily delete a pin. There you go. Um... See, do I see anything? Wait. There's one over there, but that's way too far away. Okay, there's one over there. That doesn't look too far away. Okay, yeah, so that is within the Great Plateau, so I do need to go there. Um, there's one down there, that one's a lot cl I cannot control this! That one's a lot closer, let's not jump off the ledge though. Okay, back. Man, where is the last one at? I'm hoping it's closer, because that one, the first one that we marked, was really far away. Wait, is that it over there? Oh, wow, we can just barely see it. Oh, never mind, that's, like, really far away. Okay, it is kind of hard to tell how far things are in this game, when you're uh, in scope mode, I guess. Do you have to say that? Alright, well, let's get out of here. Where is it? Does anybody else spot it? Um, Cherry Nicola, unstop. Uh, hi, nice to meet you. Um, let's see, just wanted to drop in and say hi. I was a regular years ago. Really? Dupless 101 AC. That sounds somewhat familiar, actually. Uh, but I got busy with life for a long time. Yeah, your passion and work really shows. Have fun with that all. Oh, thank you. I'm going to call you Cherry if that's okay. Thank you, I appreciate it. So guy loves messing around with you. Nick, unstop. Jump. No. Um, where is it? So you guys know each other. That's kind of cool. Yeah, YouTube is kind of a small world in a way. Yeah, I appreciate it. That's really nice of you, Jerry. Um, I don't know where this last one is. I really don't. Uh, you know what? We might just have to save. I, I might just have to find it later. Wait. No. Okay, that's not it. I'm really stubborn. I want to find this right now. Okay, I don't think we're going to. I think I need to go to a different point and spot it. Wait. 
Hold up. Is that it? Oh, it is. Wow, they're like on the very edge of everywhere. Okay, so we got a lot of traveling to do. Small world, where there are channels with 100 million subscribers. Oh yeah, my bad, fair. Um, wait, how many does... Yeah, 100 million, yeah, I guess it's like PewDiePie. Yeah, okay. All right, well, um, so sorry the stream was kind of boring, um, but thank you guys for coming. I really appreciate it, I had a good time. Uh, the next one won't be as boring. We'll actually get the paraglider and we'll be able to fly. Uh, this game, I mean, it doesn't start out slow, but I mean, it takes a little while for you to, you know, finally get out of the Great Plateau and fully ex explore everywhere else. So um, yeah, things will pick back up later, but uh, thank you guys for coming on out. I had a good time, I hope you guys did as well. And we're gonna be streaming again on Wednesday as far as I know, um, my stream schedule is posted on my YouTube banner. It's Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So, yeah, and I might start streaming a little bit longer. I don't know. So the stream schedule might change slightly. Maybe it'll start at 8.30 from now on. I don't know. But I feel like an hour and a half is more is a better amount of time to actually, like, really sink your teeth into this game. So I think we might do that next time. But, um, yeah, I don't think there's anybody watching on Twitch. But for those of you on YouTube and everyone who came, thank you guys so much for watching. I had a good time, hope you guys did as well, and um, I will see you guys back here next time. So have a good one guys.